Buenos dias, good morning, welcome to Ensenada. Today we are uh, in Mexico. It's the weather is uh, it's cloudy, a little foggy, um, but today I'm very excited because we're gonna be riding some horses. We're gonna take a shuttle. We're gonna go to an hacienda, uh, go on some horses. I think it's a beach. I'm not sure exactly where we're riding the horses, but I think we're going through a canyon. Uh, we might go through a beach. I don't know. So are you just telling me you just booked the cruise, booked this excursion because to ride horses? I just wanted to ride a horse. It's been a while, so I, <laughs> I really wanted to ride a horse. So I saw a horse excursion, so here we are. So we'll see what, what I don't know what to expect. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, it'll be a good time. We got breakfast this morning on the ship. We walked down. Um, if you ever come to Ensenada, it's not a far walk to get to the boardwalk from here. Maybe like five minutes, five minute walk to get there. So not too, too bad. But we're going to go and enjoy the day. We'll bring you along with us and we're going to ride some horses. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be to ride a horse. Let's go. We made it to the place. It's called Las Cañadas. I saw a donkey. Are we riding donkeys? No, we're riding a horse, not a donkey. <laughs> but there's cabins here, uh, people, you can camp out. Um, it's a very big place. There's ATVs and zip lining. Uh, there's there's a, a, a lake where you can paddle boat. Paddle boats. Yeah. There's all kinds of things to do here. So it's our first time here, but I think we're going to have to come back here. Oh, yeah, this place looks really, really cool. Let me introduce you our horses. This is Frijol. Diamonds is Tamarindo. And then we have Sultan, the, the main one. This is our tour guide. here at a lookout point and it is breathtaking beautiful just taking in all the nature you can hear the birds singing and it's just it's really peaceful it's nice the ride up here was great um, John's horse is very hungry apparently likes to snack along the way <laughs> he's a little stubborn but the horses are very friendly uh, they're not fighting with each other they know the way so you just hold on to the to the reins and just they, they already know the way they already know where to go so this where we're at right now it's called echo canyon it's a good one good pick john good pick i will say i'm a little disappointed they weren't donkeys though we're not gonna ride donkeys so we wrapped up our excursion had a great time um, it was a little bit ways out um, but it wasn't a bad drive uh, really nice place so now we're in the downtown area and we decided you know what we're gonna grab we're gonna grab a churro grab a cup of coffee relax for a little bit and then we're gonna go get some food mission accomplished this never gets old. So good. Pair it with a cup of coffee. What more could you want in a trip? We're now gonna go find ourselves some seafood, some lunch. Um, it's a nice day in Ensenada. It's a, well, it's a little windy. The sun's kind of about to come out. But the weather's, I think the weather's good. What do you think? I think the weather's great. I think it's a little weird that we had dessert before lunch, but... What more could you want? So we are here at this restaurant called the Muelle Dress. Uh, if you're coming from the ship and you're walking the, uh, the boardwalk, it's all the way at the end, past the exit, uh, or past the entrance to the uh, black uh, fish market. Um, it's a, 
it's a two-story building. It's a gray, gray and blue. I'll, I'll show it here. But we got some seafood. Uh, we got some uh, like a shrimp quesadilla type of uh, uh, quesadilla, and then uh, we're gonna share a uh, fried fish or actually grilled fish. So we're gonna share a grilled blackened fish uh, risotto. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty good. It was recommended to us, so we're recommended to us by our, our taxi driver, the, our taxi driver. So it should be good. I have to tell you guys, uh, anytime you ever go anywhere, don't be afraid to try something new. If you don't like it, then you just know not to go there. But we decided we got to do something new. We got to get some food in our stomach. So why not find some place, get recommendations from people that actually live here and enjoy the food. This looks delicious. quesadilla taco things, those are great. Come to this place. Walk down the boardwalk, walk all the way down, almost like you're gonna go to the end. You'll see a little shipwreck yard thing, a bobber, like a statue. Right across from that is this place. It's literally a hole in the wall, but it's so good. This food is amazing. Is that a wrap on today? That is a wrap for Ensenada. It's time to head back to the ship. I think we made well uh, for the for the day, for most of the day. And the sun's out behind us. Um, it's warming up a little bit. It's a it's a very very nice day. It started off just a little bit breezy, a little cold. Um, wasn't horrible. You enough to put on a light jacket and call it good. Um, today was great. Riding the horses. I have to give it to John. He booked a great excursion. It was fun. And uh, let me tell you, I rode the full-blooded horse. John rode the half horse, half pony. I didn't know there was a difference, but there is. Um, and then after that, we took a drive, dropped us down in downtown area, got a churro, got some coffee, and then we walked ourselves over to that amazing food place. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Check it out if you get a chance. Um, but now we're gonna head back to the ship, relax, get ready for dinner. Um, dinner's not for a while, so I don't think we're gonna eat back to back to back. Um, but take a shower, relax, and then see where the night brings us. Pat Benatar tribute band is tonight. And what else is going on? Oh, the big 80s rock oh, yeah. party's going on tonight. Yep. So we'll see you guys then. We can hear them and we can smell them. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can I just put out? I didn't realize they actually, I thought they just like moved their blubber or along the ground like scooch. They actually have like little tiny feet that they walk. <laughs> this one over here is just relaxing. Bye bye Ensenada. The ship is leaving the port. We're ready for the night. Diamond's getting ready. I'm about to get ready. And we'll see what's to come. It's the last night here on the Discovery Princess. We both had a great time. It's been fabulous. The food's been great. The entertainment's been great. Uh, the people we've met on board have been great. Fantastic. So we're going to make the last night a good time.
dip the MDR today in the buffet. The buffet it is for us today. I don't think we got enough food, John. I don't think so at all. I got a salad. Um, when we came in, they had meatloaf, so the MDR actually had meatloaf tonight. So I'm quite, kind of glad I was able to get it. Chicken nuggets, turkey slider, found a pot sticker. Um, but this is what I'm most excited about right here. Shrimp cocktail. And get as much as you want here at the buffet. We're definitely not gonna eat all of it, but we have a little bit of everything to choose from. It's a buffet. You gotta you get a little bit of everything, right? That's right. Gotta get a little bit of everything, even a salad. The buffet did not disappoint. It's delicious. Very, very good food. Um, let me just say, I'm a little bit surprised. Because normally whenever you go to go on cruise ships, you go to the buffet, it's kind of like, eh, food. It fills you, it does the job. Um, but you're not really going there to have like a very great experience. Um, I'm gonna say it, and I, some of you may disagree with me, but the buffet food was better than the MDR food. I said it, and I'm here and hate me if you want, but I got as much from Conchelle as I wanted. Uh, so normally you only get like four pieces. I was able to eat six pieces, um, but you were able to try a little bit of everything without it being too, too much uh, going on. Um, and why not? And the cool thing that Princess does is that they actually have theme nights for their food. So tonight was Mongolian. One of the other nights they had Italian. Um, they have like a seafood extravaganza going on right now too. So really good food. Um, so if you go on a princess ship, I'll tell you right now, you're not gonna be disappointed by the food at all. We haven't been disappointed one bit with any food that we've really had. Um, but I will say this is the best buffet food I've had and also the best dining experience, kind of just a little bit more relaxed, not waiting for things, not having to order from a menu. You just grab, go, call it good. Definitely go to the MDR, it's a great experience, but don't overlook the buffet. It's cool. Yeah. And an output like that. A regular cruise this does not happen all the time you got to try something a little different uh, that you get to brag about so post pictures online brag talk to your friends about it tell make sure you tell other people how much you enjoyed this cruise all right hey, ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stage the pat Benatar. Bon Jovi last night. They're gonna have them down in the piazza, which is the main atrium, and they're gonna have music going on, dancing going on. That means John and I will be dancing. Um, it's gonna be a good time, right, John? Yes, we're definitely not gonna miss Juan. I like Bon Jovi. 
Uh, so they were definitely our favorites. We might, we may be a little bit biased because I mean we like Bon Jovi, but yeah. we're gonna watch them again. It was good. It went from loud to quiet. Everything's closed now. Discovery Princess has been great. You guys definitely outdid yourself. This 80s themed cruise, what are your thoughts? It's been amazing. The talent on the ship, the food on the ship, the service. I mean, I don't think I have anything to complain about. The bands, uh, Don't Stop Believing, uh, Wanted. wanted the pat benatar experience everything the rock opera i mean the if food any, all of these things you have to try it you never know what a cruise ship has to offer until you go and do it so we encourage you as a young couple as a couple that just wants to go and see the world and see what it has for us go to go on a cruise right yes it's definitely been great um When's our next cruise? June? June. 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 We're going to Alaska. Alaska. Alaska, guys. It's going to be a different cruise, but it's going to be a fun one. And I think we might have some guests on our, th that ship, right? Yeah, maybe. But you'll have to tune in to find out. And so what that means is you need to go down below where you hit subscribe. It's free. Don't have to pay anything. Don't have to do anything but a click of a button. Hit that notification bell. And every single time we come out with a video, you're gonna be notified or you'll at least know that there's a video for you to watch. Um, and that's how, that's how we find out things. Whenever we go on a cruise, before we get on the ship, we always type in and just watch people's vlogs, see what there is about the ship, get to know the layout. Um, but we highly encourage you, if you've never been on a cruise, go on a cruise. Don't be afraid of the boat. Don't be afraid of the waters. It's a new experience and you'll never know till you walk onto one. We walked onto a ship and it's never been the same, right? Right. My name is John. And my name is Simon. Go on a cruise and, and have, have a, a good, good time. time.